Hey there guys, Redbash here, back with ya. More Outlast 2. We just made it through the barn. And, uh, found out that there's potentially some inbred mutant-like people living out here. Maybe that crazy lady, the screaming, chase you down with the pickaxe lady, adopted them. But she said that she has 40 orphans. Somebody has 40 orphans out here. That's nice. What's that? What's this? Soul of Christ, make me ready. Father Noth, give me, guide my salvation. Blood of Christ, let me drink your wine. By the sever die, give me vision. Angel of God, lend me your sword. Kind Jesus, hear my prayer. Heal me in your wounds. Keep me close to you. Defend me from a wicked world. And ready me for the devil's hour and the fellowship of the temple gate that I might defend your creation until you give me rest. Amen. Amen. May my... Pickaxe kill many a foe. Me. Incestuous relations with my sister. Which just seems like there's some inbreeding going on around here. What's that? A light. Oh, it's his uh, PA system. It's always good to see people investing in technology. Dead. Dead birds. What the fuck was that? My guess is he has some kind of like EMP or something he's using. Radiate. I don't know. Radiation. Don't. There's gotta be another way. Don't you dare get up. Be another way, he says. Just gonna go on a helicopter ride, they said. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at these nice houses over there. This is a bear trap. Ah, came from this way. I thought we are going to go this way, and instead, we have to pass through this lovely stretch of woods where nothing at all will try to kill me. Nothing. I will not die. Oh, look. Can make me do some jumping. <clears throat> yeah, dead birds. I mean, I'm not happy about the dead birds, but it's kind of gross. What? A little blood splatter. This where I got a mantle up here. No. There. No. This is a run, jump, and break your leg. Hey, who's that? We got a battery down there. You will not jump up. You will not jump up. Yeah, that's right, sucker. These guys look almost dead. They're not. All right, I'm gonna do a crazy jump. I think across this thing. Ready? And go. Ah! That was not the answer. I apparently have the jumping ability of a four-year-old. All right, I know we're supposed to be up here. What about here? No? No. Just walk on this ledge? Yeah, <laughs> just walk on the ledge. All right. Fooled me again, I'll last. Let's, uh, let's keep moving. This is very positive. Now, now I got to do a crazy jump. There we go. Ladder? Ladder is broken. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. What? 
Can this jump? Just grab it. Just be a man. Grab the ladder. Grab the ledge. It's nice for somebody to put a torch right here. This ain't gonna go. This is this a cave? Is there a troll in here? This ain't gonna be good. Oh, it's, no, no. What happened? Where am I at? I slid down. I, yeah. Can't go back up. This ain't good. Wow. It's pitch black in here. And I mean pitch black. There's no music at all. There's no sound at all. I tried to record something. Get whatever it is. Oh, it's like an effigy. Like a like a wicker man kind of thing. Right? Oh, this must be the heathen uh, the heathen's altar or their church or whatever. The church. Uh-huh. No, no. Some kind of heretic temple. <laughs> yeah. This isn't going to be good. I'm guessing the heretics have a champion similar to the crazy Noth lady who likes to impale people with giant pickaxes. That's nice. That's really nice. Oh, look. Why don't I ever just pick up the flashlight? Batteries can last for hours. All right, got to do a, another jump. Okay. I'm adept at hitting the ledge and climbing up. Is that it? Yeah, okay. For now. What's that? What is that? I don't like that. Hmm. Looks like a person. Totally dead, right? Calling it now. They're oh, they're skinned alive. Watch them not be dead. God, it's gross. It's so gross. Ugh. Ugh, it's gross. Man, these are gonna be like cannibals or something. They're gonna come at me. Oh yeah. I'm gonna wait till you're past the Mm-hmm. No, no. No, no, no. Please. No. Please, no. What was that? Wait, there was somebody hanging there a second ago. Oh God, is there ghosts now? Uh, all right, you forced, what, dead end, hole. Has to be the chapel.
Look at the size of this place. Oh my god, this isn't going to be quick. This is not going to be quick. I wonder if you're going to... You can obviously find out what happened to Lynn. Like, is she alright? Is she... You will not jump up. You will not jump up. Where I go? Downhill? Yeah. These batteries go quick. Ugh! I missed a couple, I think. A couple of batteries back in that barn. I love how you're a cameraman. Like... Honestly, if you're fighting to find your loved one, first guy I found there dead or whatever, I'd take a machete and I'd just start going ham on these guys. Wouldn't you? I mean, you just, everyone I found, I'd take them down. Oh, got a narrow, narrow little way here. Oh, uh, guy in a cage? No. Something. this. Wait, am I supposed to be back there? <gasps> he was checking. Down here. Oh, you can... Don't mind me. Blah, 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 blah. Read it later. Put it down, dude. Why music? Somebody's playing a violin or something. Ugh. I love how it starts cutting out. That dude's eyes are glowing. As a general rule, their eyes are glowing. Bad. Dude, this dude's totally gonna jump at me. I know it. I don't want him to, but he's gonna. Strategically place this table so I have to get close. Bring it on. No? Yes? Oh, he's gonna. He's gonna. Come on. What am I supposed to do here? Push this out of the way? Oh, there's a door. I'm gonna have to get a manicure when I get out of here. That's what he's thinking.
I'm over here. We go down there. Uh, yeah, probably. All right. A couple different ways we can go here, guys. Left or right. Thinking about going left. Um, shoot, I don't know. Uh, why don't we go ahead and pause, though. And we'll try to make our way through uh, Camp Crazy Town here in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Welcome to Outlast 2. Scariest moment so far. What do you think? Um, for me, I'd have to say it was probably the... Yeah, it was probably that lady like chasing you right at the very beginning um, with the pickaxe. The cornfield was kind of just eerie i don't know why but cornfields have always been a little bit at night you can hear them moving so that's kind of a little strange and the guys were coming through flashlights perfectly finding out where i was at i almost barely made it away that was a little unnerving but uh those are my scariest parts so far we'll pick this up soon thank you so much for watching until next time take care bye